Hey, what's going on guys? My name is JPT Minecart and today I am going to show you guys how to make liberties for emergency response Liberty County. Now, before we begin, uh, let me go through the things you're going to need for this. So first things first, uh, if you're not in the official uh, Liberty County's roleplay community discord server, go ahead and join that. I'm going to leave a link to the play page of the game because you'll find their discord from there and the reason why you want to go in there is because you want to go and find their zip file to download their templates here as you can see i have it currently open right now it's got all the options here but you can't really see much because my face can't look that you can see i have all the options here so today we're going to focus on two vehicles today we're going to focus on the four crown vixen and the chevy express van okay now before we go into that the next program you're going to need is a program called GIMP. Now, if you have never used GIMP before or you're right now installing it right now, your GIMP may look different than mine. So, the class, the clarify the version I have, I have version 2.10.24. So, if you want to see if you can get back to that version and be sync the sync with me on how I explain this, you can, but that's totally up to you. But yeah, like I said today, we're going to focus on the Fort Crown uh, Vixen and then the. Uh, the uh, Chevy Express Van. So this is not Ford Crown Vixen. I need to find Ford Crown Vixen. Um, Ford Crown. Vixen. Here we go. Ford Crown Vixen. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight all these for now, and we will select. Oh, we just opened one. Hold on. I want to go ahead and select the ones. So we're gonna highlight all these. Okay. And we're gonna open them. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna go through all this. So. This is going through now. We're gonna move the hot dog up to the side. I'm gonna move this up to the side, and this I will explain later. Okay. So first things first, you want to go through on what you want to customize. So for me, I am not customizing hood. I am not customizing side. I am indeed customizing the su or I'm not customizing top, but I am customizing the size. Yes, I am not customizing front. I am not customizing the back first, but I am going to customize the back second. So that's going to be that, okay? So like I mentioned, we're also going to customize another vehicle. And that vehicle is going to be the Chevy Express Van. So we're going to go ahead and open up these templates once I select all this, okay? I'm going to open all these templates. Alright, so we're going to let all these templates go. And then the hot dog, we're going to move over, okay? So the templates on the van. I don't want the top. I do want the sides, I do not want this front half of it, and I do not want the back, okay? Now that we've narrowed it down to what you want to customize, we're going to start off with the Crown Vixen here. Actually, no, we're not going to start with this. We're going to start with the simplest one of all, the Chevy Express. Now, for this one, we're going to make a hot dog stand. So, the first things first, before you start, go over here. Right click on this, and if you do not have this, make sure you set the layers, and if you can't find this back deal right here, you can go to here and uh, go to here to add tab, and it gives you all the options to add tab, so it's here, undo history, and then just make sure you set this one to the tool settings. This basically allows you to change things, for instance, if I click paintbrush here, I can change things like size and stuff like that. That's something you might want to keep in mind, so yeah. You want to get yourself perfect to this, but yeah. We're not for right now ready for that, okay? So, back to here. Once you have layers uh, selected, you must add a new layer. And the reason why you must add a new layer, if you're going to do anything paint related and stuff like that, that's going to be perfect. Now, for this one, I don't think I am going to do anything paint related, but I am going to keep the banner as its own full on size layout. Even though it's not going to be a big deal because once you like, so if I go ahead and turn these off, it's all in the same size. It's just a layout with nothing. But we're going to turn these back on for now. So these are back view. Okay. So now, because once you are finished with this, and I will explain after, you're going to be deleting the layout. But wait until we get to that. So, okay. So now that I've explained that, let's get the hot dog here. Okay. So this is just a cartoon hot dog. I just pulled off Google. No license. Once more. So I usually inspect the size. So. It's a good thing you always want to check this because you can always try to figure out what's the perfect size on center. So, for instance, this hot dog's width, and this is set to pixels, you can change it to anything else. So, say if you prefer inches, uh, percent, 
uh, millimeters, points, all the stuff it gives you here. Your feet, you can change all that, but I prefer pixels. I've run off pixels my whole entire life. But anyway, so as you can see here, it is 600 by 482. Now, if you really are wanting to really consume trying to take out some of that extra background interference, click on this tool, select anywhere in the background, right click, go to images, and click on this one. And what that does is just it removes all that background interference. And usually that is useful in some ways because then it will narrow down the numbers. Because you can see, this is now not a 600. This is a 509 by 352. That may have not changed, but the 509 did. So that's another interesting fun fact if you did not know. Anyway, back to the van here. So if we go ahead and check the actual van size, they go by 1490, I think it's eight. Yeah, that's an eight by 465. So in the midst of this, we are definitely going to have to shrink this because six, 509 is quite high. So now one thing's certain, keep this on. Cause if you keep this off and you adjust one number and, you, and the other number doesn't adjust, it's going to look blurry. So always keep that on. So we're going to change this. We're going to, so sometimes in the midst of these, I always like to do cool, like some methods. So like say, Okay, if it's 509, let's try 450. Sometimes I go by fi fives or t 50s, 10s, stuff like that, just so I can get a perfect estimate on, is this perfect? Sometimes that estimate is good, sometimes it's not, but sometimes it's perfect enough for me to slowly go up. I get, I like, cause I always like to have a good starting point. So sometimes I always say, try the five range or the 50s range, anything like that, just by fives, you know, kind of figuring out. So. As you can see, I just set 450, okay? Now, if I go to change height, as you can see, it just changed to 311 because it's trying to go exactly perfect enough that it's not going to look blurry, but also skim down at the same time. So, let's see what 450, uh, uh, it doesn't really, it didn't really do much, but sometimes the method doesn't work, but you just got to continue going down, all right? Now, okay, as you can see, this is not perfect. Now, I'm going to teach you another thing. If your size is not perfect, if you're thinking, okay, it's not perfect, I'll just go back to skimming again. Do not do that, okay? What you want to do is you want to go back, a, go back a step in your PPC. The reason why is because if you continue just skimming it down, it's going to look blurry. You do not want that. So you always want to go back to original. And the reason why is because when you go back to original and just skim down, so for instance, 450 was not perfect, so let's go uh, 350. It's going to override the, the last the first skim you did and override it with the new skim as you can see it's not blurry that's why you do that otherwise if you don't it's not gonna look pretty but you can always uh, go back okay so that that recent number I did sometimes I forget numbers so if you do forget numbers you can always just check it so I said 350 350 is not gonna cut it so 350 won't cut it so let's try let's try 250 I'm going by 50s. Usually, I can sometimes I'll just say, okay, 200 or 300 or something like that. But I'm going by the 50s because I, I want to see an, an exact perfect fit. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so 50s, 250s close. Maybe skim it, skim it down to maybe 230. 230. Let's see what 230 does. All right. Okay, so 230 is not perfect, so it's gonna be exact 200. So sometimes, you, like I said, the 50s range doesn't help. Sometimes it has to be like a 100 range, but it's always good to do the 50s just because if you go to 100, that's 50 times more. And if you just do the 50s, then you realize, okay, that's closer than, because if you're going 200, or not 200, 100 times more than at five, five Okay, let me let me uh, repeat that. I'm sorry, but anyway, I'm like I'm tr what I'm trying to say is it basically if you go by, by a hundred and not by five, a hundred's way too far where fifty would be close. If that makes sense, I think I've, I've explained that correctly. But anyway, we made this two hundred now. Let's have a look. Yes, that's perfect. So now we're gonna okay. So okay, now what happens if you try to do the other side? What happens if you plop it? Well, we're gonna try something here. 
okay now this is where you really have to think your mind you have to really think in your mind on how this is going to preview okay so i'm going to add a new layer real quick so you plop this in you think oh yeah that looks perfect let me look at that but you see hot dog points up this way where hot dog points downwards now you're probably wondering how can we fix this well first things first remove the layer go back to here go to images go to transfer hit flip horizon when you do that you can drag it and when you drag it you place it you could see you got that tilt up like we had on the other side that makes it look perfect that's why i like that because then it makes it look perfect because it's not flipping like thinking it's on a different side because it thinks it's on one side that's why you flip it because if you actually take an actual car sticker all right you flip it it's going to be the same kind of plane deal at least i think if my mind serves me correct but hey unless there's two different designs but still all right there you go so that's there all right so now we're going to give it the text touch now that like i said if you're not doing any paint thing you really don't need the layer because your image is a layer and when you add text, which we're going to do right now, I'm going to do my famous favorite text. As you can see here, it, it does its own layer. So as you can see, I, I, let me let me skim, skim this to where I can read this. You can see it adds its own text layer. And it also, it will also put the name of it as the full on text. So if I just go ahead and for now put LC, as you can see, it just changed. I need to put an actual capital L here. But capitals may not look different in this text format but it will look different once you're like here so when you look here then you realize oh yeah that's an issue so that's something to keep a watch out for whenever you're doing it i mean that it depends on your text but for this text it is all caps even if it's in lowercase or capital so really it doesn't make a big difference but it doesn't hurt to do it just to be sure because that way because like for instance if i copy like okay when i'm saving a file sometimes i always just copy it from here so that's why i like to do the caps even though it doesn't make a difference here but if you copy a text from that font and paste it it will make a difference because it's not going to paste it in the font you use it's going to paste it in a default font that's why it's always good now that's just me explaining some things about the fonts and stuff like that like oh okay then that, that makes sense but i figured i explained that because if nobody did not know that, that it, it even it okay even if it doesn't make it look like it's a difference it still does it just you got to really realize that effect in it but that's still beside the point anyway back to explaining this so we're gonna go ahead and put in liberty i realize my gif is gonna drive me nuts trying to do this but that's okay liberty county okay now, in this myth, you're going to have issues where you're going to have to resize it. Luckily enough, if you just highlight all the text, you can automatically shrink it from here. So you don't have to automatically, you know, shrink, type, realize it's not right, shrink, or no. Get rid of, shrink, type again, you get with the process. So you can pretty much just do it like this. So yeah, we're going to go in like this. Um, I'm not sure what color I want this to be. let's make the text yellow because we'll make the hot dog itself red i'm gonna have this requested as red so we're gonna go with yellow now i don't want the yellow to be too bright because we've had issues where people can't read it so in the midst you can also you can also like make this bigger and by making this bigger it actually helps you because then you can see more of your color options so as a matter of fact if i get that more into the yellow I get it high but not that high okay I press okay that's too high so we need to we need to shrink it just a bit I don't want it to be too bright I want to be able to wear yellow could be a problem because yellow is like one of those colors that's like that's not even yellow what is that getting warmer I could also do hold on wait 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 i can do this thing i can do this let's do this 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think Genius has come up with plan. Okay, let's go lower in this format. See, the, the rule is if you're not in a graphic or a web design, don't put bright colors on bright colors. Put brights on dark or dark on light because if you have bright and bright, it does not add up and you cannot read it. That's an interesting, fun little trick. So I think it's the best as we're going to get it. Um, I'm going to have to save this uh, key here for the next color, but that's okay. So we got Liberty County. So now we're going to do another little sentence here and apologies, but I am indeed a terrible speller. So I have to do a little trick like this and it's a nice little windows trick. Hot dog stand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it works, or what? Well, sometimes it doesn't. Ugh. It, it really depends. It, it's, it sometimes works and sometimes it's stupid. Now, here's another little trick to take in mind. So you can see it here, this is 50 by 50, okay? This is by 46 right now. Now, it doesn't hurt to skim it down just a little, but try to have it kind of exact like it is with this. So, I'm gonna reposition. And this is not going to look perfect on even size. That's something I am not uh, professional with. You can see, it doesn't hurt to skim it down. So let's skim it down maybe two. Okay. We skimmed it down at two. Now I'm going to do another trick. I'm just going to click. Then I'm going to use my arrow key to move it just a little. Because I want to give it that curved down look when reading something. So I'm going to move it over just a bit. I think that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go into the text here. Okay, I, I don't mean to highlight it. I meant to highlight this crumble key. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Cancel. Go in here. Highlight this one. Go to color. Change this to this crumble key. Press enter. Press OK. And there you have it. Now, we're done on this side. But what we need to do now is we need to copy these texts. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this layer. Control C, go over here, Control V. Now, GIMP is gonna come with a little deal here saying, do you wish to apply this? Just click on this and it says yes. Now, the only issue when you apply this, okay, sometimes you can do this, sometimes you can't, but sometimes you cannot edit the text if you put it on a different layer. So, like I said, this is not gonna look exact perfect on the other side, but as good as we're gonna get it. So now I got Liberty County, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to click on hot dog stand, control C, go to here, control V, hit apply, and sometimes it will place it to where the last place was. So you got to like, hopefully drag the right one and bring it down. But there you go. All right. So this is now finished. Now you're thinking, are we done? No, we are not. The next step you want to do, and there's two options. You can either hide this. Or delete it now we're going to delete it okay we're actually going to delete it because we do not need this okay we do not need this at all and the reason why we don't because those were just templates to lay out where we need to put our things so pretty much if you're gonna like I said if you're gonna do like any paint and stuff that's where the banner really comes in handy but if you're just gonna do like image layouts or text you don't need this extra layer but it doesn't hurt to have it to make it feel like it's an actual layer because if i okay because say okay i changed my mind i want to paint something see i'm painting right now i'm painting on this layer you see why that's why we did not put it on that one because if we put it on that one and got rid of that one the paint would have been gone and i would have screwed up the thing so we did not need it so that's why i told you guys to add another layer if you're doing some paint related but we're not doing a paint related one for this one so yeah, we're going to go ahead and exploit this. I'm actually going to give it, I'm going to change template to hot dog. I think I spelled dog, right? Nope, I added an eat that. See, I, I, I told you. We're going to go ahead and just put that in our download. So it says it's the right exploit. We're going to go ahead and exploit that. Then we're going to go to this one. And we're going to exploit that. Change template to hot dog. We're 
go back into our downloads file. I'm going to exploit that. Hit exploit. All right, that is done. So now, pretty much all you have to do is you gotta go to Roblox.com. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys how it's done, actually. Right then, we are on Roblox.com. Let me give me a sec to turn this uh, theme of mine off, so that way you guys can see this a lot easier. Okay. So you want to go into your create. Okay. The only downside about that is this is okay. Hang on a minute. I don't like that. Dark as night. Thank you. So you want to go into here. Then this is where you're going to upload your templates. Okay. Okay. Now, if you've not seen my video on how to get the actual assess IDs, check that one out because that will help you out a lot and you don't have to go through Roblox Studio like a lot of the other YouTubers have been telling you. So, yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and upload these. So, here's the first one. Now, I'm going to take out these slash deals they add because that just gets on to Roblox. And I do not want Roblox to get on to me. Now, last time I did something... Okay, hot dog there. Sometimes you gotta be sure, like, I forgot the T in that, that's why. Anyway, as I was saying, you gotta be sure Roblox, or like, you don't see any error issues because Roblox is really restricted on when you upload images, which sucks so bad, drives me nuts, but we deal with it. Okay, so we just added the right. So now we're going to add the said left. Said left is gonna come, so... Okay, hot dog is actually perfect. I didn't actually need space, but I'm gonna do the same thing because I did it for the other one just because I did not catch the T that is on me. Oh yeah. Once you upload those, they're uploaded, then you gotta wait for approval. And the way you can check also if you like to find your okay, so if you've not seen it, I'll go ahead and explain it so that way you guys don't have to switch that video. But if you want to get the actual template, like the actual ID, because you can't just copy this ID right here. You have to have an extension called BT Roblox. You gotta be sure that the Explore button's on. If you're still struggling, uh, the other video will help out. But anyway, you wanna click on this and then you click on texture. You can either right click to copy assess ID or launch this and get it from the actual link, which I'm gonna copy that right now. As you can see right here, it's the same thing, but it's also being approved. So that is how that one works. Okay, so that is that. Right then, now we're going to move on to another one, and it's another one I'm actually more proud of doing than the last one I did, because the last one I did, don't get me wrong, it was good, even though it had one typo, and the way we did it, yeah, let's not go there, shall we, but this one's going to be a lot easier, and it's a lot more better, and stuff like that, but yeah, we're going to do this one, now, if you've not seen the TV show Dukes of Hazard, this is going to be perfect, alright? So we got here the template finally, and this was a pain in my butt to find. So I'm hoping this works. Otherwise, if not, I'm going to cry because this is one I'm really wanting to do. Okay, so we've already looked at this. So it's a 189 by 253. Now, the thing is, it has this. Now, what I could do is I could separate this. Okay, so now you're probably wanting. If you're wanting to separate this, how do you do that? You take this little guy. Okay, we're going to get this exact. We don't want to get anything else, okay? We zoom in. Get them just about perfect, okay? We got them exact. Okay? We're going to copy. Then we're going to do the control C, V. As you can see, it's right here. But it may not be a good idea because you can see it's a 189 by 24. So, for now... What we are going to do is we're going to separate these on two separate images just in case we really need to like do this separate. But my plan is to try to actually use this whole entire image that is really provided for us. So we got the actual star here, which don't tell me I missed something. I did not. Good. As you can see, when you get close to him, it's not perfect. And plus, when you go to image and you go to skim it, you can see this is a 189 by... 214 which is not bad don't get me wrong but it really depends on how well we can stick it into this car uh right here now we do not want to flip i don't think that flipping images is a good thing no it's not i don't think you want to flip the images we're gonna find it i no, i don't think so but this one no but the hot dog it made more sense okay so let's go ahead and straight away let's just see what happens when we plot this now we're gonna click the 
have it all selected just to be sure we're selecting everything we're not taking half we're taking all so let's drag it over shall we okay needs a little bit of skimming but it will fit so let's go back to basic again of course i forgot to add a new layer but like i said it's not a big deal because we're not doing no paint work to this so it won't be a big deal at all but if you're doing paint work like i said add a new layer so let's skin this down so it's a 189 uh which is the width the height is height is really what i'm more focused on because that's what's really messing this up here so let's do 150. that is going to put that at 112. sometimes if you're doing with like a actual letter type paper that's what i'm going to call it there's another term for it but i can't think of it right now focus on the height but if you're dealing with something like long like an actual like ruler size again there's a term but I just can't think of it right now. Focus on width. And all right, now let's go here. Go to here. We can go higher. We can go higher. Okay, we can go higher. Okay. All right, let's go back. So 150 was good. But let's try 200. Oh. Ah, oh, 200 is not perfect. Okay, this is where we're gonna actually have to go down by 10. Okay, so 200 is not perfect. Let's do 160. Let's do 160. That's an actual estimate between 150. We can might we might be able to do 170. Let's try 170. I want to make it to where it's big. To where it can be seen but not too big where it's coming you know like it's not it's not looks like basically i don't want to make it look like it wasn't put on right if that makes sense okay let's try that again this is 170 i think wait wait what number was that hold on hold on oh i did the wrong numbers i think hold on i think i did the wrong numbers hang on let me try that again so wait, yeah, I did the wrong numbers. So they were supposed to be here. 170. There we go. I did I did the wrong numbers. I was like, that's not right. I'm used to messing around with width than height, so don't judge me. I think that's the best we're going to get it. That is the best we're going to get it. So this one's a quicker one. I'm a man. This is a quicker one. We go back here, here. And yeah, you do not want to flip it. So I'm glad we did not flip it. All right. Now the bumper. Here's the thing I like to do about these movie type or TV show cars. I like to put the most quote stuff in it. Even though for the first one, yeah. Yeah, I, I probably should have chose a different quote. But I, I went with the best quote ever because reason why is because a lot of people in liberty county especially in king's private servers yeah 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 okay so here's the quote we're gonna go with for this one i'm gonna cuff them and stuff them good girl okay yeah 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 all right let's see if we can actually do that one so yeah see if i can get an actual warning of it so yeah all right i got it 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 okay all right all right so in the mist, I also like to do the, the actual quote in the, this color text just because I've done it this way. But let's go ahead and just, uh, nope, not that tool. We need this tool. Change our font. I realized I made a typo. So if you make a typo, don't backspace, just fix it, then delete the typo because if you delete the typo straight away, it sets everything back to normal. As you can see, I'm back to this font. But if I go to here, I'm in the, the actual font. That's another thing I want to change. Right, so you can see I already have to shrink it, which this makes sense for this template because it's not a big size. So we're going to try that. Custom and I wonder if this one's going to be an issue. <laughs> this could be, uh, I don't know. We'll have to find out. 
as you can see right here checking my typos just to be sure <laughs> I did it good <laughs> all right that's good so, all right so now that we're done with these like I said we're going to delete this layer because we don't need these and then delete both layers okay Now that we have those deleted, I actually need to see uh, how I really did the other ones. So give me a sec. Okay, so it's left. We're going to say left one for now. So left one. Then we'll do right one. And don't worry, if you think I was saving on that one I selected, I wasn't. It's just... If I did change the actual name, it would have asked me, do you wish to replace this current image? And uh, if I said yes, yes, it would have been right. Hold on a minute. I made a mistake in that. And sometimes when you select the wrong thing, it will say left. So I need to change that to right. Now we're fixed. See if, if I did it if I didn't catch that I would have messed this up. So now that says right this one says official left even though right's not capital But I screwed up so blame idiot me. I, I did not realize that after I after I did the second one I was like, oh, I realized it now. Okay, so now we got that. So now this needs to say left Okay, since we made a right and you see how left came up if I go ahead and select that to go double PNG but because I did that, now it's going to ask me, file name with this, do you wish to replace it? I'm going to say yes, because I made a mistake. And then it's going to ask me to explain it. Now the back. The back, I did. I think I said I did a fixed when I did this, so I'm going to check the back. Because if I go to here, you see there's back. Uh, back one. I may have overlaid it okay so it's got one now so I'm gonna do double the one I'm going to hit explain hit explain all right now on the uploading these to Google or not Google I'm sorry Roblox all right now we're on Roblox let's go ahead and upload these and yeah that is pretty much how you pretty much do this so let's go ahead and do this right now oops I always keep clicking the wrong button that's kind of funny I'm not gonna lie Alright, uh... Right one. One. And also you can see that the uh, the uh, hot dogs ones uh, they got verified, which is good. So that's good. That's good. Plus they got those verified. So this is one one. That's gonna say one two now. Upload. There we go. So as you can see, this is what the, the Hazard County one looks like. Unfortunately, um, uh, my person that, that uploaded these, which is uh, King Brex, he even put this on the wrong team. He's going to fix it until then, but they had some bugs. But yeah, the bumper's not coming, but you can see the actual back thing, and it looks okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it still shows the batch. Anyway, on to the hot dog stand one we made, and oh yeah, I was going to pre prepare for this one as well, so <laughs> yeah. So here's how the, uh, the hot dog one came out, and I must admit that color looks perfect, text is perfect, the hot dog logo itself is perfect, true it might not be even, actually let me look at that, really. 
Yeah, it's not really uneven, but you know what you what you're going to expect. But yeah, that's what that one looks like. So yeah. So anyway, guys, if you like this tutorial much and it helped you a lot, and especially if uh, for useful resources that are free, make sure you give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really help out the channel a lot, especially helping it grow in its ways and stuff like that. But other than that, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss any other videos. Probably not a lot like this, but apart from that, I have been your host, JPID and Micah. You've been the audience, and I will see you all <gasps> next time. Goodbye, everybody. Subscribe, please, and thank you.